Welcome back to another album collection video and this one we're going to take a look at my Pink Floyd Metal album collection. I just have two copies here. I have heard the Harvest, early 80's Harvest CD copy of this album. That sounds fantastic. That's probably the best sounding version. Next to the Mole Fidelity Gold CD and Vinyl Record, which I don't own and have never heard those. Um, I think I've heard, I have heard the uh, Mole Fidelity Ultra Gold Disc Edition. But that's uh, off YouTube, so I'm not really getting the full experience on that. But we'll start off with the CD like always. And they changed the cover on this one. And there are uh, early CD copies that have the original cover, which is pretty cool. Um, and I used to own the 1994 CD copy of this album. So we have a photo of the band there. I believe that's original to the uh, album. So here's the tracks, One of These Days, A Pillow of Winds, Fearless, saint Seamus, and the Magnum Opus, or the, uh, yes, the Magnum Opus Echoes. Great instrumental, one of the very first Pink Floyd songs I remember hearing back in the day. So we'll show the booklet I keep going 2011 remaster, by the way, for those that want to know. This picture is original to the album. Lyrics and st stuff like that, so it's pretty cool, yeah. Um, I believe this is an original Harvest copy, U.S. copy. Uh, it was gifted to me. Oops. I believe it's original, I'm not sure. But it's in, it's in, I mean, good condition. This is playable. Here's that photo, same photo, which this looks better in my opinion. And there's a track listing and all the publishing publishing information. Side two is Echoes, I see it just, what's on there. Um, so there is the Harvest label there. Um, but yeah, there's no recent audiophile edition of this album, which I find strange, and that's driving the price up of the Mole Fidelity vinyl and gold CD copies. They're just getting way, way up there in price, and a while back I considered buying one, and I wish I had back when this, that, uh, the audiophile edition was much more affordable, and then decided not to, so I might get, well, I'm not going to get any more copies. I mean, if I can come across the Harvest CD copy for a good deal then I'll get it. But here's the back of the album. Because the Harvest CD, in terms of digital, when it comes to this album, is highly regarded by people. So yeah, original album tracks on this one too. Um, it would be interesting to see like a box set of this come out with some live um, live song uh, shows from this era. I mean, maybe one day I'll be able to replace this cover. It's, it's seen... The record saw a lot of use back when it was with its original owner. But yeah, this, this album, I love it. I mean, it's acoustic and kind of laid back and uh, just very care carefree, but in a good way. Um, and then Echoes is like this great soundscape that it takes me out into space, you know out, you know, beyond the Earth's atmosphere. And with these uh, big names like the president of Virgin or owner of Virgin Records and uh, the CEO of Amazon, what's his name, Bezos, whatever, going up into space. I think that's pretty cool right now, given the climate, you know, of, the, of what's, what's going on. There's the catalog number. I get a little focus. Uh, that's as good as it'll get. SMAS 8392. And, and this is fantastic. You can find CD copies. So is the t that 2011 CD copy. That's fine. I'd recommend that since it's the uh, current imprint version, as me making this video. Yeah, it's just a great, great album. Great, 
it wouldn't be a bad start for somebody. I mean, it's not, you know, Floyd's super well-known, you know, hits, but pretty good, good music nonetheless. So that is the video, guys. I do thank you very much for watching and subscribing.